Good morning. We are at the Pine County Dairy Princess Coronation and Ambassador Selection. And Jessica is running to be a dairy princess. Dairy princesses are going through their judging right now. So this is all the princess families that are here. We'll wait for the rest of the county farmers to come. So we're in the auditorium of the old school. And that's really neat. <laughs> right behind me is like a mini barn. Little Miss Greek yogurt is Jessica Klejeski. She is in sixth grade and represents Trinity Dairy. She is a daughter of Alan and Jennifer Klejeski. Congratulations, ladies. How about a round of applause? What are you guys doing up there? You don't know? I want to be famous. You want to be famous? <laughs> so our princess coronation and meeting was held at the Pine County Museum. And one of the things they have here is a full-scale replica of the first plane built. We got a neat medicine wagon. So this museum is actually in the old school. So every room has different displays. The model train room in here. Mama, it's going on the big bridge. Mama, you got the big bridge. Wow, cool. Pretty cool. I can look at it from the front. So this is a restored pack track. If you guys watch TV at all, it was featured on American Restoration. Yeah, some pictures. I remember watching that show. Wow. I used to love watching that show on Quest. This thing's awesome. Over here is like a old, old car by Marvin Johnson. It's a wood car. The wheels were made out of plastic, not wood. <laughs> oh, I, thought that, I thought the whole thing was real. It just decorated the whole thing. No. Pine County Cities. Sandstone. Oh, here we go. Sturgeon Lake. Sturgeon Lake. Oh, wow. It's the original St. Isidore's Church. That's what it looked like? It burned down in 1918 in the fires. 
Oh wow, that's what it looks Sturgeon Lake Hardware, your case tractor and machinery and parts dealer. It's pretty cool. It's just room after room. They're in here. Okay. Like a little post office front. Cobbler shop. There we have a museum early logging artifacts. So yeah, a bunch of stuff for logging. We have the horse treadmill power unit. Alright, we're back home now from the Dairy Princess Coronation, our annual meeting. We had some viewer requests to do a video on our calf care protocols, so we thought we'd do that now that chores are rolling. So let's go and take a look. So once a baby calf is born on the farm, the first thing we try to do is make sure that they get a good amount of colostrum. Now, colostrum is not all created equally. So we have a refractometer that we use. Let me take it out of the box. This is it right here. It's one from Alta Genetics. A refractometer like this is a really inexpensive tool to check the quality of your colostrum. A lot of people want to have it at least 25 bricks but 30 is really good. So if we do have a low quality colostrum, then we use a colostrum replacer. So if the colostrum that we get tested from one of the cows is a little bit lower quality, we'll use a product like this. This is a re colostrum replacer supplement from SCCL. There's also a really good product out there from GenX, but you get what you pay for with these products. If you're buying the cheaper ones like at Fleet Farm, they are not that good. So. This is what we use if the classroom's a little bit poor quality. So while we're milking the cows, we'll pull milk out of the jar for the calf bottles. We used to use milk replacer, but it just got to be so expensive that we just made the cut there and decided to use cow's milk again. I don't even know what it was a bag. I think it was getting close to $80 a bag by the time when we quit using it. I think it was about 50 when we started. <laughs> yeah, so you gotta kind of justify that cost. But we had good luck with either or, cow's milk or milk replacer. Yeah, yeah, either one works well. Okay, so I pulled some milk out of the jar for the calves, but it was still a little bit cool, so I just had it in some warm water. Now they're warmed up, we'll get the nipples on them and go feed the calves. This is a product that we like to put into our calf bottles. It's a Prozyme Plus, it's from IBA. But we like it because it has a source of like the live, viable, occurring microorganisms. Basically your good bugs for your calf's stomach. So we do like to do that for them. It also has selenium, vitamin A, D3, E, and, and uh, niacin. But yeah, that was our biggest thing for it, was to have something that was gonna make sure that there was good, healthy bacteria in the calf's gut. So that's one product we really, really like. So this is so 
Bella. She's one of our, she was born January 20th, 2023. And uh, she, what she has here is what every calf has, except for Peter, because he's weaned off. Uh, calf candy. I'm not sure what the heck's all in it, but. It's a starter feed. Hey, can't put it back in. And then they all have water for them. Holy cow, you really drink down your water after you're done with your bottle. So then once they're weaned off, what do they get? <clears throat> well, I don't really have any to show you, but then you get a heifer mixed feed and water. Yeah, uh, I would show you some, but here's all his, and there's nothing but the stuff that they pick through at the bottom of the bucket. But... some of the stuff that they like to pick through. And when do they get weaned off? They get weaned off, I guess when they're old enough to, and they're too old for the bottle. What, how old is that? I have no idea. It's when they're two months old. When they're two months I, old, I, they get weaned I, off from the bottle. That, that's cat. This is Peter here. Peter Kropikowski is his full name. It's a really weird name. So this is Peppermint. She was born on January 30th, 2023. And basically, she gets what Sella gets as a calf starter, some corn and some pellets and some oats. And then she gets water like every other calf. So this is, this is Violet. She was born on March 8th this year. And she gets a calf starter like all the other calves do. And she also gets water. Mommy, and a bottle. Mommy, and a bottle. Mommy, mommy, her, her got food. They got food? Uh -huh. That's good. I got it. Let go, mommy. So that's just a little bit of a rundown, I guess, of how we take care of the calves on the farm when they're first born to when they're weaned. And that doesn't change no matter if it's a heifer or a bull calf, because for the most part, our bull calves are valuable too. So they get the same care that the heifers get. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't miss anything in our calf care video because actually the kids are the ones who are really responsible for taking care of the baby calves. They are the ones that are up morning and night doing the feeding, bedding, make sure they have grain and water. So they do a great job with that. 